Welcome, welcome, boys. All right, in this video, it's going to be a fairly short one, but we're just going to do a, a quick pressure test on this Mercedes C230. The owner complained that it is smells of coolant. I'm assuming when she parks it after driving it. She didn't really elaborate on it any more than that. So what we'll do is get our radiator, ah, radiator pressure test kit out, hook it up to our expansion tank, pump it up full of air, and check for leaks. And if it holds pressure or not. So we're going to do that at the same time we're doing rotors. That way I can keep it on there for about an hour or however long it takes to figure out if we have a leak or drop pressure. So we'll pump it up and do that first while I uh, do the brakes on the slide in its own separate video. So what we have is my setup here for the coolant pressure uh, system. I'm using part number 18 and 9, or correction, 8 and 9. 8, 9 in my big main unit. So we've got this down here holding pressure, this kind of screwing it, keeping the pressure in. And unfortunately, I thought this cat would tell me what the uh, you know pressure would be for the system. But instead it just says, night often when heis, which I'm guessing means do not open when hot, in the English translation. But no numbers. And I can't see any on the expansion tank here, so I don't know what this pressure is supposed to be. So I'll pump it up to like 15, and then we'll see if it leaks, or if it holds pressure, or what the deal is. If I can see any leaks, or uh, smell anything. The engine's cold. It's a short drive from her house to mine. And when we look underneath, we don't see any leaks at the moment. I've already got the one wheel off for the roller we're getting ready to do. So let me go ahead and pump it up, and then we'll keep an eye on it while I'm doing my stuff. Fifth, nah, about 14. Fourteen PSI upside down. So we'll see if that holds while I'm working on the uh brake rotors. The level's okay. I don't think it's excessively low. In fact, it's probably right where it needs to be because if it coolant gets hot and expands, it should probably just about fill her up. But we'll see if that holds any pressure. Uh, we'll see. Alright, so while that's holding or releasing pressure, we'll go ahead and Start on the rotors. Okay, before we head on over to the passenger side though, so we're at like 13 PSI on the pressure test. And as you can see, we have a leak. So this, she wasn't wrong. She is smelling coolant. And I'd be willing to wager it only leaks under pressure. So when it gets warmed up, it's leaking. But I'm not sure exactly where it's leaking from. So we can see it's from someplace up. It's running down on the side of this bell housing, dripping off. Now it's jacked up on the driver's side, so it could be from the driver's side and just leaking, coming off on this passenger side. I'm not sure where we're leaking from. Let's go up top and I'll see if I can see it. You know, uh, towards the back of the engine. Okay, boys, so. I think with my best educated guess, you can't see in there any better than here. But see that plastical thing that that clamp is attached to? I believe it's the fitting, that plastical part that's going into the what I guess is the back of the engine there, the head. Um, and that is because I've checked here. Now you can see some coolant below there. Um, but I believe that's running that direction because of the car being jacked up on the driver's side. Because I put my hand over here on the clamp, there's nothing, it's dry. And this is that hose that runs over here to the expand top of the, the tank there. So this is good. And of these <clears throat> two hoses over here, the top one and that bottom plastic one, uh, that top one runs over... Um, well, I guess I can, it kind of runs over here, right? Um, but that's not leaking. 
that's dry. And right where the hose clamp is, is not leaking. I put my hands there, it's dry. So I suspect then, because if you look, I don't know how well you can see it, but if I move my, my eyes and everything around, see that light? Well, you can't because I can't get the camera in. Nope, there I, there I can. So the very bottom of your screen there, right under that plastical thing, it's wet. And like I said, right there where the clamp is, that's dry, even underneath where I put my hands. But that's wet. So I do believe that our coolant leak is going to be this plastic fitting. Right where it buttons up to the engine there. But I'm not... <sighs> I'm not sure. That must be a fucking royal bitch to get off. Because I'm guessing there's going to be two bolts that hold it on. I can see one's at like an inverted Torx. Can I even put the camera in there? Not really. Okay, you see where that inverted Torx is? That's for the transmission. Which isn't bolted all the way into this car, by the way. That's backed out a bunch. But... Oh, there you can see it. All right, so there is our inverted, probably like an E8 Torx or whatever. Oh, and actually, if we look, we might be able to actually see it drip to the right of it, right at that kink. But where that E8 Torx is, there's probably another one underneath of it, that inverted Torx. So that plastic fitting is probably what needs to be replaced. And you would think, well, that's probably an easy enough job. Yeah, probably, but then again, I thought that fucking Hyundai Sonata was going to be an easy job, and that was fucking brutal. And this thing has a similar type plastic fitting with an inverted E8. I bet it's a bitch to get to, boys. Bet it is. Especially the bottom one that I can't fucking see. But, yep, there we go. Well, I just saw a drip. I don't think I can move the camera anymore. No, uh, because if I move it anymore, you can't really see... But that's where the leak is. There, you saw it just then. So that's where it is. It's that plastic fitting. So. Alright, well now we know where the leak is. But it still seems to be holding pressure at about 13. Turn my flashlight off. Get off this thing because my knees hurt now. Ugh. Oh, all my hips hurt from that. Okay. Yeah, see we're still at like 12 and a half. So it seems to hold pressure there. Because this has been attached for like an hour now. Almost an hour. So, alright. Let the pressure out, and that should stop the leak. Because it's only leaking under pressure. So, honestly, short drives, you'd probably be okay with this thing. Um, but that does need to be fixed. Can I do it? Eh, uh, probably. Do I want to do it? Eh, uh, not really. Not after that crankshaft position sensor job, because this is in almost the exact same spot to the left. But, uh, I don't know. I'll let her decide, but now she knows. She knows what the problem is. Okay, now I can move on to this.